Hello, everyone. Today, we conduct a panel discussion titled Open Chain Panel in Japan How to Promote OSS Community. Seven key people of Open Chain Japan Work Group are gathered and discuss about community building. At first, we'd like to start from the self introduction. Watanabe san, can you introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, everyone. This is Ayumi Watanabe. I'm working for Hitachi Solutions in Japan. I am an open source management consultant. I'm very glad to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, Owada san, please. Hi, uh, I'm Kiyoshi Owada from Social Next. I'm working on uh, open source related job for uh, many years. So I'm very happy to be here. So thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, Fukuchi san, please. Hey, hi. My name is Hiro Fukuchi uh, from Sony. I'm the leader of a uh, planning subgroup in Japan Work Group. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Next, Osaki san. Hi, my name is Tom Osaki, working on Fujitsu, and uh, I'm in uh, part of, uh, IP department and uh, just working on the uh, OSS compliance related works. And I'm very uh, happy to just join here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, Ninjoji san. Hello, everyone. So I'm Takashi Ninjoji I'm from Toshiba, Japan. Uh, including the, the committee members at previous job, I've been participating for almost one and a half years uh, to this Japan work group. I'm glad to be here and uh, I it would join. I, sorry, ah, go men nasai. I will enjoy these discussions. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, finally, Ito san. Thank you. Uh, I'm Yoshiyuki Ito from Lunesas Electronics Japan. Uh, I'm software engineer uh, in the uh, semiconductor company. I'm glad to hear. Thank you. Thank you. And myself, uh, I'm Masato Endo. I'm a one manager of the uh, service and uh, system development in Toyota. At the same time, I'm focused on the uh, open source compliance and the community activity, such as OpenChain, uh, AGL, and OIM. And uh, I also am uh, a leader of the Open Chain Japan Work Group uh, promotion subgroup and uh, uh, Open Chain Automotive Work Group also. Thank you so much. Today, uh, we'd like to uh, start from the uh, introduction of the Open Chain and uh, Open Chain Japan Work Groups. Just a moment, please. Uh, from now on, I'd like to explain about Open Chain and Open Chain Japan Work Group. Open Chain is a one of the Linux Foundation projects. And uh, Platinum members are here. And purpose of Open Chain is to making the standard of the open source compliance. Recently, Supply Chain of the open source, so uh, no, no, supply chain of software become bigger and bigger. So uh, I think that if one company in supply chain cannot handle open source software appropriately, the impact uh, spread all over the supply chain. So everyone, every company have to make uh, open source appropriately governance system in each company. So we'd like to discuss about the standard of the open source compliance in each company. Three major outputs of open chain is specification, curriculum, and conformance. Specification is our standard itself, and the company satisfied with each condition of the specification can get conformance. And we developed educational materials to satisfy the uh, specification. 
also uh, we uh, concentrate to making the curriculum. This is a company already got the conformance and many company are trying to get conformance of the open chain. And open chain standard will become an ISO standard. Uh, it is uh, already approved by ISO community and uh, it will uh, be published uh, soon. From now on, I'd like to explain about Japan work group. Hitachi, Sony, and Toyota making Japan work group three years ago. And uh, we discussed Japanese, but we making output by English. And seven active subgroup uh, making output and update, uh, upload each achievement output to GitHub. And this is a graph of the increasing of our, of our work group. Over 200 people join our work group right now. And we held all of our all of us, all members meeting uh, totally uh, 12 uh, times. And many people gathered about uh, seven, 70 people to 100 people gathered one site and discuss about recent topics of open source compliance. Unfortunately, in this year, it is very difficult to do the real conference. So we conducted Zoom remote conferences. From now on, I'd like to explain about the major output of our upper group. This is a surprise reflect uh, surprise reflect to introduce the importance of open source compliance, not only legal people, but also all uh, stakeholder, uh, executives, engineers, and uh, sales people. We uh, published too many uh, this reflect and uh, to uh, distribute all over the world, uh, Japan, uh, China, uh, Europe, America, and uh, uh, Mexico also. And we, uh, find, uh, we defined a uh, uh, new data exchange format called SPDX Lite. SPDX is authorized, very good digital uh, format to exchange open source software information between organizations. But uh, some Japanese legal people can't handle the uh, digital format and uh, uh, they use Excel format and each format is different. So it takes a, a very long time to handling the harmonize the each format. So uh, our subgroup uh, decided to making the one, one authorized uh, Excel format called SPDX Lite. It becomes a also a global standard. And we conduct a CS session in uh, collaborate with AGL to promote uh, open source compliance in automotive industry. And uh, after that, uh, we our activity be, uh, became uh, so active and uh, the impact spread all over the world. Last year, China work group, India work group, Korean work group, and Thai work group uh, set it up. And uh, this year, uh, UK work group and German work group also set up. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to communicate with each uh, other uh, in this type of work groups. And uh, I'm very happy to spread uh, regional sub, uh, regional work group concept. This is a, a general information of our work group. Uh, I will put uh, this information to the chat box. Uh, please check it. Thank you. Yes. So uh, at first, I'd like to discuss about why each company uh, want to start the Japan work group. 
Uh, how about, uh, 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 at first I'd like to discuss about uh, the viewpoint of Toyota. Uh, as you know, uh, automotive industry supply chain is very huge. So each company's understanding is very important. But uh, relatively, in Japan, uh, the understanding of the open source compliance is not so active uh, three years ago. So uh, we'd like to collaborate other Japanese companies and uh, want to promote the understanding of open source compliance and uh, to share the know-how and the information of the uh, OSS compliance is very important. So uh, we decided to set up the Japan work group. Uh, Fukuchi-san, how about Sony Sai? Uh, thank you, uh, Endo-san. Uh, I have had uh, two reasons to start uh, the Japan work group. The first one is uh, to access uh, the supplier in the software supply chain. Uh, as you say, the software supply chain is a very big, huge and complex. So one company cannot reach uh, the supplier by ourselves. So we need a co collaboration, we need a communication. So that is a one reason. And the second reason is that to build a consensus over the supply chain. So uh, the open chain is a very good place, uh, we believe, because uh, open chain is a global standard for uh, open source compliance. And uh, uh, the Linux Foundation is a, a neutral place. And uh, so the Open chain specification is created by an expert who knows the, uh, the real problem and the deep knowledge about the compliance. So the open chain is the best place. And in addition to these uh, reasons, I have had a personal motivation uh, to build a open source community by ourselves, by Japanese. And uh, I believe uh, OSPO people or uh, uh, open source promotion people in Japan should know what open source community is and uh, how open source community works. So through this uh, Japan work group, people can, uh, I hope people can uh, learn about the open source community. So uh, those are the, my uh, reason to start the Japan work group. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fukushi-san. Uh, these two points are very uh, important things. Uh, I think uh, uh, to uh, connect with the global community is a very uh, good point of our work groups. Uh, we can discuss inside the uh, Japan companies, uh, not only so, but also we can directly connect it, uh, Google, Facebook, such type of companies. So this is a very good thing because uh, our standard uh, will become the global standard. And uh, I also think uh, uh, the community work is, a, uh, I think some people uh, think the uh, little uh, distance from the community, but uh, it is not so far. Uh, because uh, we can discuss and we can uh, communicate very easily with the community. So uh, this is a very important thing. Thank you so much. Uh, Watanabe-san, how about uh, Hitachi side? Yes, I will talk about the motivation to start the Open Chain Japan Work Group of Hitachi. Uh, in Hitachi, um, compliance is more than anything. So it's like a corporate culture. And Hitachi has developed open source guidelines, process, and education programs since long ago. So uh, um, we would like to share our knowledge or experience to the public. And we, Hitachi has developed Sorry, we developed a special organization. The name is Open Source Solution Center. It's like an OSPO in 
Hitachi. And so when Hitachi developed uh, the OSPO, uh, they would like to um, make the compliance activity in Japan more active. And we would like to um, contribute our knowledge and experience to the community. And also we would like to have the place to share our issues of, or solutions with each other. So that's the motivation to start the Open Chain Japan Work Group. And I, myself, I am not a software engineer, but I like the culture of open source. So I would like to just do something with something in the open source community. Uh, open Chain is very open to everyone. So everyone can join mm -hmm. and do the community work with people, uh, even if you were not a software engineer. Mm -hmm. So in Open Chain Japan Work Group, I'm a member of planning and promotion, promotion work group, and I'm doing an activity to make the Open Chain better known. The biggest advantage to join this community is um, you can communicate with many people from many different companies and from many different industries. And you can share your issues and solutions with community members. So it is the biggest advantage to join the Open Chain community. Yeah, that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Hitachi-san has uh, uh, many uh, know-how and uh, knowledge of the open source software. Uh, so uh, it, it is very uh, helpful for us also. And uh, of course, uh, open chains is uh, very uh, open and uh, we can discuss everywhere. And uh, uh, well, I think that this is a little bit different from the Japanese company's culture. So this is very uh, interesting and uh, I think this is a, a ma, we have to change each company uh, to public uh, to open mm. is a very important thing. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I think uh, I'd like to discuss next topic. Uh, I already uh, explained uh, some work group making making uh, making great achievement output. Uh, for example, SPDX right or uh, and so on. So uh, I think uh, one. Uh, tips uh, of acti activate uh, the, uh, this work group is uh, uh, to promote uh, each sub subgroup's uh, activities. So uh, I'd like to uh, hear from the uh, Ito-san. Uh, Ito-san is a leader of the uh, license uh, info exchange sub uh, subgroup. So uh, please uh, let me know that you are a subgroup situation. Yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, assigning the speaker. Uh, we are. Uh, I'm leading uh, the uh, open chain uh, sub work group uh, named uh, License Information Exchange SRD, uh sub work group of the Open Chain Project Japan work group. Uh, we are discussing about the how to manage a license information exchange between the, each company in the supply chain. Uh, as uh, Endosa mentioned before uh, in this session, uh, originally uh, open chain itself uh, are starting the discussion about the how to manage uh, license uh, compliance management uh, for each. Uh, open source software in the, uh, each company. However, uh, especially in Japan, as Endosa mentioned, that the uh, huge supply chain have to collaborate with each company uh, from supplier side to each set vendor side or uh, each distributor to the market. So uh, we want to define and uh, uh, integrate uh, how we share the such open source license information in the real business world uh, in the supply chain. Uh, as we started with the uh, Endosan uh, Toyota, so uh, initially uh, we are focusing on the uh, embedded 
environment, embedded Linux or embedded uh, set uh, for the specific uh, world. Uh, of course, uh, we will share the our uh, result with the any other uh, supply chain collaborated uh, development style of the uh, real uh, business world. And uh, uh, also we are uh, discussing with the other uh, organi uh, organization or as a community like SPDX, uh, because the uh, some uh, supplier, some uh, company in the uh, real business world uh, already started to utilize the SPDX format as a uh, sharing information about the license. Uh, so uh, we, Japan Work Group, Subworking Group of the License Information Exchange Group, uh, collaborating, discussed with the uh, key member of the SPDX community. And uh, uh, initially we uh, proposed the uh, SPDX light format. Uh, which he did uh, already mentioned in uh, Endo-san's uh, presentation material that the uh, in Japan, especially in Japan, uh, many IP, many uh, legal guys uh, prefer to manage uh, license information with the uh, Word format, Excel format, or handwritten uh, some uh, table format with the uh, uh, some attachment. Uh, to the uh, uh, the uh, business document. Uh, however, uh, from software engineering side, uh, from software engineer side, uh, we prefer to use the uh, ex to use exchange uh, these license format with the some sort of machine readable format. And uh, uh, SPDX is quite open uh, format uh, and uh, open. Uh, well uh, managed uh, detailed format to describe the uh, each uh, license description for the our uh, software package uh, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, it's able to manage uh, each files each snippet uh, for the those software package so uh, we uh, we are discussing with SPDX community and uh, uh, we promote, we propose uh, able to handwrite, uh, able to uh, human readable, and uh, both also uh, able to utilize machine as a machine readable uh, format uh, named uh, uh, SPDX Live format. Uh, it ac got accepted by SPDX community uh, in uh, this uh, May time frame, uh, 2020. Uh, and uh, it's already uh, distributed at the uh, one of the uh, uh, format of the uh, SPDX uh, regular uh, specification. That's our uh, first result of the uh, license information exchange subwork group. And, uh, and right now uh, we are uh, proposing our uh, pro uh, proposal from Japanese uh, so, software in, in, uh, in, uh, industry uh, to get accepted uh, next revision of SPDX format version 3.0. Uh, right now, uh, quite active discussion held uh, in this sub work group. Thank you. Thank you, Ito san. Uh, I think uh, uh, SPDX rights uh, achieve. Uh, oh, not only uh, Japanese companies, but also other uh, countries, uh, people also uh, want to use this format. And uh, of course, Toyota uh, now using SPDX, right? I think uh, this is a, a very important thing because uh, uh, the community uh, is uh, 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 the comp the community is uh, promoted by the, each company's needs. Uh, so uh, we can uh, accelerate our project. So SPDX uh, Lite is a, a, a model case of uh, output of our uh, work group. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, I think uh, uh, recently uh, Turing uh, subgroup is a very active uh, 
uh, very uh, relatively uh, new subgroups. So how about uh, Ninjoji-san, uh, please uh, let me know about the latest situation of the uh, Turing subgroup. Ah, Ninjoji-san, uh, mute, mute, mute. Yes. Sorry, very much. Uh, thank you, Endo-san. So as mentioned in this discussion, uh, I think Japan World Group provides a place where participants can exchange the information and consult with each other. So uh, participants come from various organizations and uh, various backgrounds, such as beginners and uh, sorry, beginners or experienced professionals, engineers in the league and the IT department and so on. I think that the factor in expanding the scope of our activities so some companies may be uh, starting open source compliance activities by one person or a small size, like I was before, uh, before I got my current job. In that case, it would be help to join the subgroup group and consult with members. Um, I will briefly introduce the two subgroups. Uh, sorry, in those sense, I would just add one other subgroup. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, please. Uh, so one is Turing subgroups, as in those mentions. The Turing subgroup, focuses on open source complex two chains. Mm. Uh, this subgroup has a relationship with the DPS tooling sub work group of open chain project. Mm. And uh, some subgroup members use tools in their business and uh, some of members uh, participate in open source tooling communities uh, such as SW360, uh, like a software catalog system. And the other one is uh, Phosology, uh, such as uh, license scanners. And the, another one is the FAQ subgroup. So FAQ subgroup focuses on uh, open source license. Uh, this subgroup organized and uh, published a set of FAQ to help you understand and uh, deal with the open source license in practice. So this uh, subgroup adopts the Chatham House rules. So uh, there's some kind of topics in the uh, public uh, openly uh, in the, of the discussions. But uh, in both subgroups, uh, I will emphasize that uh, participants from technical and uh, legal IP departments exchange views based on their experience and their expertise at the same table. Uh, in a discussion, any questions are encouraged because sometimes simple questions that we might uh, overlook help us to understand the nature of the problem. That I think uh, that's all for my part. Thanks. Thank you. So I think uh, uh, relatively in Japan, uh, such type of uh, organization is uh, uh, consists of the same uh, people, such as, for example, a legal or uh, engineers. But uh, Open Chain Work Group gathers many type of crossover uh, engineers, uh, not only engineers, but also legal people, sales people, and so on. So I think it is very interesting and uh, we can discuss uh, from the many viewpoints. So this is very good things. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, I'd like to discuss about all members meeting. I think uh, this is a one uh, uh, very uh, good point uh, to promote our, our, pro our project, our work group. So uh, Osaki-san, uh, how about, uh, please let, let me know about the uh, all members meeting. Hi, um, hi. I'm Tom Masaki, and uh, I think this is now panel discussion of, of by you know, Open Chain in Japan work group members, and uh, one of the now uh, outstanding uh, characteristics of the uh, Japan work group is the uh, frequent gathering of you now all member meeting, usually every three or four months, and Fujitsu hosted uh, two meetings, and they are very, very important meetings for us, and uh, first is that uh, and this is a periodical milestone for non-code-related communities. Uh, open chain is uh, focusing on uh, OSS compliance and uh, not measurable by uh, code development or bug fixes. And so uh, this is very good milestone for, and motivation for attendees and that drives uh, open chain uh, Japan work group forward. And the second is that uh, the number of attendees uh, and the frequency of meeting I means a very actual showing of the importance of uh, open chain and uh, open so OSS compliance. And 
there are not so many people. I think it's less than 10 uh, for OSS compliance is working in individual companies. And so this is a very, it's a very good place to bring your boss for persuading something relating to the uh, OSS compliance. And uh, the photos in the slides are just taken in the uh, 10th O member meeting in at Fujitsu Kamata. And it's you know, one of the uh, software development base um, of Fujitsu. And uh, there's now uh, large audience sections and small group discussions and just you know, discussions between the Japan work group members and also guest talks from foreign countries. And this is an SV ring for Moxa in Taiwan. And also individual discussions are held. So this is just a summary of the all member uh, meetings and now it's virtual, but we will keep in this uh, kind of uh, meetings um, later on. Thank you. Osaki-san, thank you so much. I think uh, uh, all members meeting is a, a, a good milestone uh, to uh, introduce each subgroup's uh, output. And uh, we can discuss uh, well, uh, from the each company and uh, from the each viewpoint is very important things. Uh, thank you so much. And, uh, uh, but uh, recently, uh, unfortunately, uh, the reason of the COVID, uh, we can't uh, have the real uh, event. Uh, but uh, uh, recently, uh, Owada san uh, provide uh, opportunity to discuss uh, not only a real site but also uh, the uh, re a remote discussion. Uh, please uh, let me know about that, Owada san Oh, okay, thank you. So, recently, unfortunately, uh, as uh, Anderson says, uh, we can't have a real face to face meeting or uh, gathering. But uh, um, besides that, we ha want to make uh, some, um, this kind of uh, co communication. Uh, we, we want to have uh, this kind of communication. So uh, uh, luckily I can uh, arrange the many uh, Zoom meetings. So I share this one, uh, I uh, prepare this one. So during the, uh, this uh, virtual event, we, <laughs> make uh, many um, trial to having a more good communication between the uh, members. So, and uh, also I believe this kind of gathering is very important for uh, this kind of the community, uh, even if it's virtual. So, because uh, we uh, want, we need to, by nature of the, this kind of community, we have to share our thoughts or problem, anything we have, uh, frankly. Then uh, during this kind of discussion, we have uh, some um, idea or so have some solutions, or may, maybe someone has a, uh, some idea to solve the, some problem or something. So this kind of communication is very important for us. So, and also we have, this kind, uh, kind of discussion in Japanese. I think this is very important for us because uh, uh, a normally open source community uh, event or activity is uh, running by the English. But for Japanese like me, uh, it's very difficult to express our mm, thought correctly. But in, Jap uh, in between Japanese, using Japanese, very, very, it's very easy for us to exchange our thoughts uh, or problem issues, uh, very frankly. So I think that this kind of communication is very good to be good things. Uh, yeah, thank you. And also that an you know, open source license is not written in Japanese and so everybody have to just understand the English as well. And one of the, the, the common um, problems that the Japanese uh, members have. Mm -hmm. And so this is a very good place, I think. Thank you. So I think uh, to this, we can discuss Japanese uh, in work group is very important things. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we all also collaborate with uh, uh, foreign uh, countries uh, people uh, actively. 
So, for example, uh, 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 collaborate with uh, uh, Chinese or Taiwanese com com companies. Uh, how about uh, Fukuchi-san? Uh, uh, you are very active for the such type of collaboration. Thank you for introducing me. So, uh, the, from the beginning of the Japan Work Group, uh, we, we have been thinking all the, uh, for the uh, communication, collaboration with global communities. And uh, I and uh, some Japan Work Group members have visited uh, Taiwan three, three times since the 2017, and we discussed about uh, our uh, our Japan work groups, our activities and uh, achievement, and share this, uh, our know-hows. And uh, we also visited uh, uh, the China and, uh, two times, and uh, also discussed about uh, how to promote the uh, OSS uh, promotions. And uh, uh, so we are, uh, uh, we have been thinking all the time about uh, collaboration, uh, global co collaboration. And in addition, these uh, activities, we invited uh, many people from uh, uh, other regional uh, uh, countries like uh, Taiwan, uh, China, uh, Germany, India. Uh, many people visited our, attended our all member meetings. So we could uh, exchange our thought and uh, our uh, soul of open source community. And in, uh, also uh, beyond the open chain project, we collaborate we have been collaborating with uh, SPDX project. So this is uh, our very good uh, achievement, I think. Uh, over the open chain, we can collaborate uh, for uh, uh, open source communities via open chain project. So that, uh, so one, one example, we have been uh, continuing the uh, tele teleconference with uh, Kato, who is the uh, technical uh, leader of SPDX uh, project. So uh, we, uh, in those ways, we are thinking about uh, uh, global communities. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, fukushi uh, I think uh, uh, Ito-san is also uh, very active, for example, uh, I and Ito-san went to US uh, this January uh, to conduct the uh, demo. Uh, so please let me know about that. Yeah. Uh, in this January, uh, Open Chain Japan Work Group had the demonstration in the CES 2020. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I mentioned, and Endo-san also mentioned that the uh, Japan Work Group uh, joined many uh, companies from automotive industry in Japan. And uh, uh, also uh, AGL uh, automotive grade Linux uh, are run, running on worldwide, but uh, many Japanese car manufacturer uh, joined AGL. So we, uh, Japan Work Group uh, members uh, discussed with the AGL to make a, a joint promotion to reach uh, our uh, activity, open chain activity to uh, regular uh, guests, uh, not a particular for regular people, not, uh, not, uh, not specific uh, IP people, but also uh, many guests uh, who uh, have interest about the uh, electronics or semiconductor or automotive uh, industry. And, uh, uh, also, uh, our, my, uh, some of our members already started to UTI the SPDX Lite format in the real uh, business. So uh, also our member uh, preferred, uh, 
promote it to AGL to utilize our own SPDX, right? Format with the existing AGL standard uh, UCB, uh, universal code base, uh, to find the uh, many license terms on the each software, each software package. So we, this, we, uh, we demonstrated how do we manage license information in real AGL code uh, utilizing SPDX write format or SW360 uh, or something like that. That are the, uh, that's uh, uh, our result of the, uh, this journey time frame. Yeah, thank you so much. I think uh, we defined the uh, SPDX right, and uh, I think uh, we uh, uh, conduct a demo is a very important thing because everyone can imagine uh, uh, it is a real thing. So uh, uh, in this field, it's very difficult to conduct a real site, but uh, we can uh, introduce uh, all over the world by the internet. So we'd like to uh, promote it uh, together. Thank you so much. I think uh, today a very good point uh, discussed about how to build in the community. So I'd like to proceed the wrap up. Uh, I think, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, how to think uh, what is a, a successful point or a key point of the team, uh, team uh, this team building? Mm, so I think the most important thing is that many people and many companies have a, a similar or same problem or same uh, concern related to the uh, open source compliance or open source uh, themes. So, and uh, the, the people want to have uh, some place to share their thoughts or to um, discuss uh, with other people to solve that kind of uh, problem or issues. So that's why I, I think that's a very important thing for to uh, for this uh, Open Change Japan work group. And also, I would like to uh, uh, say again, it's very important to using Japanese for the, this kind of discussion uh, in Japan. And also, so the, the, the activity in the Open, Source, uh, Open Change Japan work group is uh, output must be the English also, but uh, gathering many people, someone can help to make that uh, Japanese uh, uh, opinion to translate to the English one. So not only if someone has some problem to translate it to English, if, but uh, someone can help it. It's a, a community style, work, work uh, style. So I think that uh, this kind of uh, community is a uh, key point. So thank you. Thank you so much, Wada-san. Uh, I'd like to uh, hear from another people also. How about the ninja I oh, thank you. But uh, <laughs> all what the mentions always <laughs> <laughs> as already mentioned almost thing <laughs> for me. But, so, but uh, in oh, other words, okay. So let me see. Uh, Yes, once again, I'd like to say that the Japan Work Group is a place where we can learn from each other. So members with a relevant experience in the expertise from any uh, various departments, various backgrounds. So furthermore, so everyone is a beginner as a beginning. So there is a lot of understanding the things to keep in mind about the open source compliance. It's the same for the, everyone. So until and after who were uh, who became an experienced practitioner. So in any situations, so we need the place to talk each other to share the information. So that one work group is a very appropriate appropriate place, I think. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, uh, your point is very important thing. So uh, I think uh, uh, too many points uh, is exist for uh, our successful success. So uh, not only one thing, uh, but also, uh, for example, uh, subgroup and uh, all members meeting and the language is also, and the global uh, collaboration is also. So uh, we'd like to continue uh, uh, communication and uh, we'd like to uh, make the output uh, uh, 
each and uh, to communicate each other is very important things. Uh, okay, thank you so much, everyone, uh, to this, uh, discuss about the importance of the uh, 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 community building and how to promote it. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, if uh, time is rest, uh, uh, we'd like to uh, discuss some more point. Uh, we'd like to uh, introduce uh, recently topics of our project. Uh, Osaki-san, uh, can you introduce about the registration of ISO? Okay, uh, let me explain the schematic view of the law to international stand. Uh, if you just make an open chain um, specification to international standards, uh, there's not two steps needed. Uh, first is that uh, the JDF, the Joint Development Foundation and the Linux Foundation is recognized as a uh, past submitter. It was done in uh, May this year. And next, the open chain specification is just uh, under the ISO, uh, IEC JTC1 process that started from the May this year, the past submission, and there's a uh, draft voting to the uh, national bodies like the uh, Japanese and the uh, United States uh, organization. And now this is the final stage of the approval and the international standard will be um, published in late November or just the beginning of December. Uh, that's my explanation. Thank you, Osaki-san. Uh, I'm look very looking forward uh, to publication of ISO. And uh, Watanabe-san, uh, please uh, let me know about the recently topic of the uh, promotion subgroup. Okay. I would like to share our current promotion activities uh, Open Chain Japan World Group are now doing Advent Calendar event in this December. This is a series of 25 blog articles like Advent Calendar. One blog article will be published per day. You can find our Advent Calendar by Googling Open Chain Advent Calendar 2020. This year, we are focusing on the Open Chain spec as ISO standard. We wrote all blog in uh, Japanese and English. So we would like ask you in all over the world to read our advent calendar. Each day's blog have ine botan, ine botan uh, yeah. to vote you like. Bye. So every day's blog, uh, this event has a ranking system and our depends on the number of like we got. Bye. <laughs> so please read our advent calendar and give us a vote of your like uh, for right. each post every day. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Watanabe-san. Uh, please check it. Uh, you can access not only Japanese, but also English. Okay, uh, time is coming. So thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye, -bye.